Okay, for some reason, some people are still confused about the old guard and how to, uh, do it for some reason, even though it says in the description of the badge. Uh, but, you know, I'll, I'll show you how to do it. You know, if you don't know, I'm, I'm sick by the way, I don't know if you guys care about that. But if you don't know how already, there is a badge called, uh, Soldats. It's old guard, old guard badge. It should have just been called that. Uh, KDR, which if you don't know what KDR is, if you go into the game and then you look right here and click on stats, you'll get everything and you'll see KDR. It has to be over 10, which I have 53.1. And uh, you need to save 51 teammates. You need to survive to uh, wave 35 in one life. Some people said that you have to survive till wave 36 to actually confirm your 35 round, but I I don't know. I I just got the badge, okay? I I didn't just get the Like I got the badge and I don't know what happened. So just try to survive wave 35 and that you should get the badge. Then win 30 uh games of objective and acquire these badges which you know you can you can look them up if you don't know what badges I'm talking about it's basically uh, all the campaign badges and like explosive retreat and old yeller which old yellow on uh, old yellow is basically uh, killing a teammate that has a broken leg and that's it now the people that are having the most troubles on is uh, getting to wave 35 which I don't know how I'm gonna show you that, bro. I've made a I made a video where I showed you tips on how to solo the game, but I will tell you this: you can't get the badge from soloing if you uh, if you don't know already. Uh, the only way that you can solo is through private servers, and the only reason why I made that video is because I wanted to, I wanted to see videos and I wanted to see how long people can survive in solo, so that's why I made that video. One dude said I should, you know, tell people how to get to wave 35 without dying. I don't know how, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest. I guess the only tip that I can give you to get to wave 35 is to just not die. Simple as that. I'll, t I'll give you like some tips for classes real, real quick. Uh, so if you're picking line infirmary, uh, try to be, you know, kind of far away. Because you're you're long range, okay? You're long range, so you should probably you know stay back from everything else. Uh, let everyone else that are like in front of you be in front, obviously, and uh, just keep on reloading your gun and uh, try to always shoot uh, the most important zombies, which are uh, bombers and sappers, and uh, you should be good. For officer, uh, you kind of need to be in front, but not too far where you're literally at the door. I suggest you stay somewhere like back here where, you know, not where the zombies spawn, but like somewhere where you got teammates in front of you and behind you, especially. And uh, just be very aware of where everything else. And uh, always, you know, when you get fully charged on your charge meter, try to charge. Try to use that. <laughs> try to use that um, charge effectively and uh you should be good and also did you know that you could save teammates by using the charge ability when they've been grabbed yeah you can do that for seamen try to stay back just like musket try to stay back but like try to stand somewhere like out here somewhere where the barricades are on top of the barricades if you want to just somewhere near the barricades so if they get too close you can just stand behind the barricades so you can just get a good good shot fire that go back and retreat reload then come back and then you know just keep on doing that try to get the most kills as possible try to kill like zombies that are in a line like this and you should get the most kills out of it uh for Pfeiffer, literally the easiest class to just, you know, survive on. Because you're just basically letting your whole teammates do all the work. Now, the thing about getting to wave 35... Oh god, I'm sorry. The thing about getting to wave 35 is that you need to have good teammates. And if you aren't a god like me that can just survive to wave 15 with... No problem at all. You need a team that knows what they're doing 
and are somewhat, you know, know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, just, that's basically it. And if you get overrun by zombies, just try to make some maneuvers. Watch my solo video if you have to, of how to train zombies. I don't really give that much detail of how to train zombies, but uh, if you don't know how to train zombies, it's always Call of Duty, bro. Now, for last but not least, we got Sapper, which is probably the most useful class. But if you don't know how to use Sapper, right-click pulls up a menu, but you can always press you can always press the letters that are prompted for. So, like clap drops are F, barricade is Q, and then E is sticks, which is easy. Just try to remember that, okay? When you're using the X, do not be like outside, okay? Outside is the worst place for sappers because you have really slow swing speed and also always pre-fire or pre-attack, I don't know, your axe because you don't want to like accidentally walk into zombies and you're not even pre-axe swing. Jesus, I almost died. If I have to recommend where to put your barricades, uh... Probably somewhere where everyone's gonna be at. So like, let's say it's like early waves. People are gonna be out here, right? So try to like make the entrance of the area like somewhat barricaded, so people can just run back and uh, get behind it, right? So try to help out your teammates a little bit to like where if they get overrun by zombies, they have a quick access to a good safe spot where none of them is gonna be hurt. Unless they don't know how to jump over barricades, which it's not that hard to learn how to jump over barricades. There is another thing that you can do where you can place down a barricade and put stakes behind it. So for when a barricade gets broken by zombies, the stakes behind it will stop them. And it will do a little bit of damage, not enough to like kill them, but like it will do a decent amount of damage. And also... Stakes in general are just really easy to get over, so if you want to use that for people to just jump over, which is, you know, 9 times out of 10, they'll just jump over it. Here's another thing that I've just learned. Uh, you can just place down things, and like the zombies will sometimes just break them, and then it will slow down the zombies. So if you can just place that, put it over there, the zombies will just eat that barricade up, and then you can just run right past them. I recommend you only use stakes and barricades if you want to do this method uh, because stakes is not reliable though they won't always go for stakes yeah sometimes they'll just r run right past it so like stakes are not the best but barricades though they'll eat that up <laughs> so there you go the thing about Caltrop is that some people don't really like Caltrop at all but if you're fast with it which you know, again, I don't recommend this at all, but it does slow down a lot of zombies when you're really far away and you just want to get a little breathing room, place those, then run away, then that will slow down most of the zombies in your path, and then you should be okay. Caltrop. So are good for when you want to uh, kill some zombies, you can just place those, and then you can just swing at zombies when they come through, because, you know, they're really slow. And your swing speed is really slow, so... You just hack and slash on these zombies. They won't attack you. It's like playing a sapper, except with a powerful sapper. Right here, just a barricade in the middle of La Ferme. That's the map I'm playing on right here, just in the middle. Zombies will just go after the barricade and not go around it for some reason. So if you just... It's, it's a quick escape. And, uh... I guess this spot is the best place to, like, set up camp. Not any of the buildings, though. You don't want to be in the, any of the buildings, because you will die in those buildings. Bombers will just come out of nowhere, and they'll kill you, okay? But, uh, yeah, that's... That's basically all the tips I have, if you want to get to Old Guard. Um... If this video helped you out, uh, subscribe, please. Yeah, that's basically it.